Why is the mic not working? Hello? Okay, mic check. We're good. All right, putting in the classes. Head class. Dog. Head class. Duck. Animation and what else? For the HUD, we have to decide do we want to make a different object for each HUD? I think we'll make a base class called HUD and then we'll derive three separate objects for each each one of those little windows. I guess four if we want the rounds in there. I don't know if the rounds I guess if we're trying to stay true to the original, we should put those in there. So we can make the round, the shot, the hit, and the score will all be derived from HUD. And all of those HUDs will share the same font. Um, but the inner workings and the mechanics are going to be different for each one. So let's do that. We'll do base class HUD and then we'll do the four for separate classes. So, round. I'm going to call it HUD, round HUD. Base class HUD. Shot HUD. Do you want a virtual destructor? Yes, yeah, so you almost always want a virtual destructor. What is that hit HUD? Well, it says hit, so that's why I'm calling it. The one in the middle? You see it says hit? We got round, shot, hit, and score. So there's our there's our outline for some classes we know we need. We will probably need more, um, but that will get us started. Let's take five, and then we'll come back and start putting the meat in this. Bing, resume. SDL image dot h and. We're going to need a, a vector to control the position and the speed of the duck. So let's make another class. And I'm just going to call it V2D. Is duck the base head class? No. Standalone class. This is going to be really simple. Um, it's going to have two floats, X and Y, and we'll have. I shouldn't have made a source file. I don't. I don't want a source file for this. I 
Should have just made a header for it. But um, for a base constructor, the x and y will equal zero. And then we'll have a two argument constructor And, and we can we can do it this way initialization list that's what that's called destruct so this will allow us to create vectors now most games use lots of vectors and these vectors are just a way of representing something in two space a vector is something with direction and magnitude right from despicable me so position is going to be a vector velocity is going to be a vector if we had acceleration that would also be a vector um, and then there's some others that we may need as well. Basically anything representing or can or that can be represented by X and Y will be a vector. When you move into 3D and uh, 4D or 3D graphics, you use uh, three 3D vectors. So you have X, Y, Z and X, Y, Z, W. Or you can also use them for things like red, green, blue, red, green, blue, alpha. And so they just show up all over the place. But, um, all right, so there's, there's our V2D class. Let's go back to duck. I'm gonna keep everything public for this program um, just so we don't have to deal with accessors. There's no, no need to deal with accessors here. This would be more like C code and less like C++, but that's fine. We kind of dip from both languages. Take the best of both worlds. So let's include our V2D up here. And we'll have a vector for the position and the velocity of the duck. I, mean, I don't I don't think we need acceleration, so we won't mess with that. I'm pretty sure the duck speed is constant. But if we had a duck that was like slowing down and speeding up, we would want another vector for that. We're going to need a texture. We're going to need a rectangle. Two rectangles because we're drawing from a sprite sheet. probably need an angle just like when you're thinking about this when you're developing you're, you're thinking about the duck and the behavior of the duck at some point we're gonna have to create a duck right every like every time a duck is shot down or flies away we have to create another duck so we'll have some function create duck that will initialize all these values and place it somewhere in the level but the point is you got to think about these things, think about it in the game, and, and we turn our imagination into code. So what else do we need here? Someone said a bool. I don't know if the bool is a good idea though. It's it may not. be better in, to have an integer, or we could do an enum. Um, what is, what is enum? Duck state. Uh, it's duck dynasty is what it is. No, dead, alive, or fly away. Normally, you're going to write enums in all caps. Dead, alive, fly away. And not on screen. What? 
Is it a state that you just smile and scream? <coughs> I hope not. Okay. We just won't we won't deal with him if he's not here. If we need to come back and add states, we will. So he'll have a little state machine. It'll be switch based though, it won't be polymorphic. It just it would just be a switch. Uh, enum is another way of writing a number. I could say, you know, he's just an integer and it's a one or a two or a zero. But instead of trying to remember which is which, we just make the enums. And now I know dead is dead, alive is alive, fly away. He's invincible. God mode. And then we'll create a duck state. And default will be alive. We should have you should have covered enums in intro, but if you if you don't use them often, you might have forgotten about them. We didn't cover them. You didn't cover them? No, I don't remember what the was it. It doesn't seem like it's that difficult to. I don't know. Uh, well, we we lost didn't. it. I mean, yeah. it's, kind of just, it's just it's just a way of representing a number as something easier to remember. You can run a switch off of enum. Okay, some some functions for the duck. We already said we probably need to create duck, um, but I don't know. This may not belong in this class. This may belong in the level. So I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll put it there because we're gonna need it somewhere. And then the duck will obviously have update and draw. Draw is probably going to need the renderer. Update's probably going to need delta time. Do we have delta time set up? Okay, we'll have to set that up. But oh, I didn't. I'm going to use the little light bulb here. Create definition. A little light bulb. All right. Um, so we'll head over to head over to the definitions and let's. You can hold down Control and click on those, and it will take you there. Update. This is going to be some work. We'll have a state machine in here. So. And then based on which state he is in, whether it's alive, or dead, or fly away, um, we'll, we'll change things about him, deal with his animations, change his velocity, keep him on the screen, stuff like that. And that will be usually something like a switch based on duck state. That's why I made the enum. So now, any code dealing with the duck while he's alive goes in here. When he's, when he's dead, in there, and then fly away right there. We may have a class 
We talked about a class for the gun. It may be better represented as a class for the player. I don't know. We'll get into that later. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. So there's some layout for our update case. We may have more stuff up here. Like we'll move the duck. Because in any any case here, he's going to be moving. We will just adjust his velocity, his direction inside the state that he's in. We may want a, a, a function called change direction or something like that, or we may just write that in line. But we'll move the duck, redraw like move the rectangle to match his position and things like that. Draw will be easy. So we get the renderer in here, I think. Did I forget to do that in the header? So yeah, fix your header file. This we're gonna need the renderer to draw. Do we need to include game state for that renderer? No. No, we'll pass this in. No, the duck will be in a game state, so we it will be in a level, so we cannot we cannot include game state into duck or that would make a circular loop. Now, are we going to use render copy or render copy EX? Uh, EX brings three things to the table. It brings angle. So like if you want to rotate an image on an angle. And then it brings the ability to flip an image. If you want to flip horizontally or flip vertically. EX. Yeah, we'll do EX because we do want to flip. Now, moving on an angle is not the same as drawing on an angle. I don't think they actually rotate the duck, but they do flip the duck, and so we may want to flip in here. So this will get our renderer, our texture, uh, the address of the source rectangle, address, destination rectangle for now I'm going to leave that at zero because the direction we don't want to twist the duck or turn the duck based on its direction that that this game doesn't work that way the center point is going to be null because we just we don't need that and the flip. So we need a render flip in here to know are we drawing it flipped or are we drawing it regular. So there's something that needs to go in our state. Let's go back to the header file and put in a flip. The render flip. SDL flip. Flip. It doesn't like that. Really? I should just be able to have a generic flip. This is renderer. Yeah, there's a renderer. Yeah, renderer flip. Okay, 
and we can initialize that to SDL underscore flip underscore none. So these are enums. With all caps there. It's basically saying zero. Flip none is zero. Yeah, I don't know what you're thinking on your side versus how much text on that is. Yeah, it's like a so if we change the flip somewhere in the update function, it will draw it accordingly here. We keep everything variable. Anything that needs to change will be based on a variable. duck is going to have to be animated so we will have to deal with that and then we'll need an algorithm to play the animation and fly them around dead will be easy we'll set the velocity to something going down find out. He'll fall for a ways until he fall until he hits the ground. We'll have to put that in there at some point. We'll need a ground collider. away will be like the opposite of this. It'll be just velocity x equals zero, velocity dot y equals um, 100. And we'll fly his an animation away. Okay, so from here, let's see if we can get just a duck on the screen. We're going to need some assets. And then we will We'll see if we can get an animation going. We're going to need a timer, so we'll have to set up delta time. But, um, all right. So let's pause with the code and get some assets so we have something to work with. So in my constructor, I'm going to say, well, this is only good for the purple duck. wonder if I should do derived class, but I really don't want to do that because you just do the black duck. I don't have a black duck, do I? Well that's that's the duck that the dock picked up. Yeah, that's the normal duck is the black one and the other cars are the Well now I have to find a different location. Oh man. Well just count the pixels Oh, uh, you count the pixels. Yeah, you should. <laughs> um. Okay, so if we're going for black duck, I'm gonna say 122. Let me see how close this one is. This one's like right at the tail, actually. Do a 
128, 114. There's, that sets up for black duck. And then, oh, we need the destination rectangle, so. Well, we don't need the X and the Y so much as we need the, the height and width. draw this to scale or do we want we're gonna want to blow it up so we'll say it's 38 uh, times scale oh, where's the scale we'll have to make a scale variable Duck dot H. I think that's good. Let's go to game state and we should have a game state level. Do you guys do three or one? Well, I'm saying from last lab. If you have your work from last lab, that will save you some time. But. You'll need, you'll need a level class to level state. Right? Just a wind screen, a loose screen. There was no levels. Are you sure? The levels were in the, uh, the previous lab. Oh, yeah, it was in before, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was supposed to have a level on it. I don't know. I just had a game back. If you didn't, then you need this code. Which I just copied options and then fixed it up. And then I used the light bulb to create my definitions. Everybody have this? No. So from there we'll go over to game state CPP and I'm going to copy the constructor here. 
We don't have a button. We'll need to load a background, but we don't need a button for the letter. <coughs> so I'm copying this from my menu constructor. I'm going to paste that into my level constructor. And it won't be menu, it will be level. So we will need this file at some point. We'll come back to that. And then I'm going to look at my menu enter function. Wait, how did you create those? Did you like manually create those the level level class that's down there or the light bulb? The light bulb? Yes. I use the light bulb. And enter, I'm just going to put running equals true. We'll probably center, like maybe center the mouse here. Do some things like that. Something that happens when we enter the level. Play the music, stuff like that. And then for update, um, do I want to pull from options? I feel like I had the most code in in menu. We have while running, we've got a pull event loop. This has button updates in it, we don't need that. I do want the game to exit. We're gonna have mouse events, but they'll be different. I'll just take this. I'm going to take all the guts from menu, copy it, paste it, and edit it. All right, first thing I want to do is clear out anything with button because there are no buttons here. I'm going to leave the case for the mouse button, but I'm not going to leave that code there. And there will be no drawing of the buttons. We will draw a mouse, so I'll leave that. We'll draw ducks, dogs, trees. That's so just a copy and paste. Yeah, I'm just seeing what you deleted. That's all. I'm trying to see what you Anything did. with button. Anything with the word button. Deleted. Except for the button up? Except for the mouse. The mouse case button up. I left that there because I know we probably want that for shooting. Good. All right, so let's make a duck. Ah, uh, where would we create the duck? First thing I need to do is include duck. 
I may not want to include it here. I may want to include it in the H file, but for right now, I'll put it there. Oh, I need a game state for my level. Forgot about that. Game state, game state, level. And then I'll add that pointer in my header file. And then we need to instantiate this level in main. Yes. Where do you where do you need me to go back to? Uh, trying to figure that one out first. Well, we created a menu and we created options, but we don't have a level yet. So that's I'm going through all the steps of doing that. Could you could you go through the steps of creating a level again? So back in GameState.h, we have a pointer. Right, we had pointers to current options and menu. We'll need one for level. Okay. Got that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so in the source file, we have to set that to null because it's static. Okay, I got that. Same as the other ones, and then we instantiate it in main just like the other ones. Okay, good. Everybody else good? Yeah. Usually. It's because if it's derived, when you create an object, it creates objects from the base and the derived. Mm -hmm. And then if you derive again, it will create an object from that one. So you actually have, you know, multiple objects when you create an object from a chain of inheritance. Yeah. If your destructor is not virtual, it doesn't go up through there and delete these. It just deletes that one. And then you have this leak. You have heap corruption. Uh, well, that's that. that's heap corruption. Uh, okay. So virtual destructor is like kind of the opposite of a virtual function. It, it checks back up the chain to see if everything's been cleared up. So the base class and all the direct classes of the destructor is virtual. Yeah. I mean, it's almost always virtual. I think in NetBeans, it default makes it virtual. I don't know why you wouldn't want a virtual destructor. There's prob probably a reason, but I don't. I don't know it. Okay, so we've got a level now. Let's go back to level and see what's going to happen when we enter this state. Sorry, that's the wrong state. Uh, we need this level P and G. Let's get that going. I'm going to open my project folder and pick up menu background. I'm going to open this with paint.net. change it up a little bit. I'm just going to make the whole thing blue, like sky blue. And then save as level.png. There's my background.
so you just because um I'm looking I'm not um open with person shit with the documents. <laughs> All right, we got a duck pointer in the level file here. We're going back to game state CPP. Back to our level constructor, and we will say duck equals new duck. I'm just looking. Duck equals new duck. We need to delete this duck in the destructor. So let's go to, where's my destructor? Lost. MIA. I'm just going to delete the duck right there. <coughs> and if our destructor gets too crazy, we'll move it over into the source file, but if we're just cleaning up one duck, I'm going to leave it right there. All right, and in our running here in our main loop, we'll update the duck, and then we will draw the duck. Where do we draw the duck? Where in the draw order? Uh, before the mouse. For the mouse, we want the cursor to go over the duck. Right. But behind the trees that we don't have yet. Yes, we'll get there. Drug, uh, duck, draw. All right, to speed things up, we're going to start our game off in the level file instead of, or in the level state instead of in menu. So, over in main where we set our current state, let's change that to level. And run it. Hmm. I got a bunch of errors. Well, I got a, I got the background. I don't have the duck. Yeah, I don't have a duck either, but I do get a frame. Okay, did we load the sprite sheet for the duck? I don't think we did. No. No. Way to go, Andrew. Way to go. I blame you. That's what happened. Middle child. This texture, we only need one of these, so I'll make that static. Hmm? Oh, no, no, I was wondering why I started in the menu, but I figured out. So, I'm in duck.h. I'm making my texture static because I only want to load it once. And duck cpp. Oh, this is dangerous. Well, SDL texture pointer duck texture equals zero. or null and then we'll say if there is no texture 
SDL or sorry it's IMG no it's text equals IMG underscore load texture and we give it the renderer and duck hunt dunk dunk hunt dot png Our constructor needs the renderer now. So what we'll to put that in there? SDL renderer pointer ren. File? Yeah. It doesn't matter unless we move to Linux, but that's good form. Why is this angry? Ba bam I'm gonna fix my default constructor I'm just gonna do that change that semicolon out with a pair of curly braces In the duck header file, I replaced the default constructor. Well, I didn't replace it. I created one that accepts a renderer. And then I changed my default to just be an empty constructor. It's actually defined in the header file, so I don't have to define it in the CPP. We will never use this. Now we go, we go back to level one here where we're loading up our new duck we'll have to pass in the renderer there maybe this time no what's wrong Shannon. Shannon, are you sleeping? Not yet. 